In this video, we are going to talk about 10 things you need to know about Switzerland. So, before starting the video please like this video. Do subscribe and turn on the notification to our channel for future updates. Switzerland is a lovely, tourist-friendly country. Although it is best known for its ski resorts in the winter, it is stunning all year. Everyone should put skiing in Switzerland on their bucket list. Switzerland is the ideal skiing location since the Alpine Alps reach from the Balkans to France. 10. There are four official languages in the country. If you spend even a short amount of time in Switzerland, you'll quickly notice that its people are incredibly multilingual. Even though German is the most widely spoken language in Switzerland, just over 60% of the population, don't be surprised if your high school German fails you. Swiss German has its quirks and idioms, but don't worry, English is becoming more frequently spoken, particularly in cities and metropolitan regions. The territory around Lake Geneva is entirely French-speaking, although the regions around the southern border with Italy are dominated by Italian. This leaves Romance, a unique Swiss Romance language left over from the Roman Empire and spoken by less than 1% of the population today. 9. They're really mad for melted cheese. We think of it as a luxurious, rich treat for a long day on the slopes, but where did the Swiss national dish originate? Although its origins are obscure, modern fondue, which derives from the French term fondre, which means to melt, was formed out of a need in the 18th century. Winters in the Alps are long, and peasants with little access to fresh food devised ingenious ways to make do with what they had. They started melting hard, aged cheese with wine, herbs, and spices, then dipping stale, leftover bread into it. This quickly became the popular, community dinner that we know today. Try the Moiti Moiti, half and half, cheese, which is created of Gruyere and Vacherin for bourgeois cheese and flavored with Kirsch, a cherry-flavored liquor. Request La Rela Juice, the nun, at the conclusion of the meal, as well as the burnt cheese scraped from the bottom of the pot otherwise known as the best bit. 8. They like to parade their cattle. Between mid-September and mid-October, if you're anywhere near the Swiss Alps, you'll be able to witness a charming end-of-summer festival, the coming down of cattle from the slopes. While local customs differ slightly from village to village in the Alps, the same vibrant parade of flower-crowned dairy cows parading down the mountains and into the villages is a sight to behold. The sound of cowbells is eerie, and traditional clothing, music, cuisine, and wine will keep you engaged long after the cows have been tucked away for the winter. 7. They never take sides. While Switzerland's neutrality dates back to 1515, it wasn't until Napoleon's loss at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815 that Vienna publicly recognized the advantages of having a neutral state in the heart of Europe. Since then, Switzerland has not fought a single military confrontation, and it has no standing army. Rather, you'll witness groups of young men in uniform doing their national duty, ready to protect their country if necessary, unlikely, we know. 6. It's the birthplace of the Red Cross. After witnessing a terrible war in Italy in 1859, a young Swiss nobleman named Henri Dunat founded the Red Cross. Would there not be some means, during a period of peace and quiet, of organizing relief groups whose purpose would be to have the wounded cared for in time of war by enthusiastic, devoted volunteers, properly prepared for the task? Dunat wondered as he returned to Geneva. Dunat co-founded the IFRC, International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, with five others, which probably displays the inverse of the Swiss flag as its symbol. Visit the Red Cross Museum in Geneva for a moving look at the humanitarian work the organization has done and continues to do in conflict zones throughout the world. 5. Its mountain ranges are perfect and accessible to all. It should come as no surprise that a country with possibly the world's most reliable transportation system also makes it relatively easy for travelers to enjoy some of the world's most breathtaking mountain views. All you need is time to see stunning vistas from Europe's highest railway, the Jungfraujoch, in Interlaken, to the world's highest cable car station, in Zermatt. Knowing when to go is crucial, says Swiss Tourism. Early in the day, especially before mid-morning, is the optimal time to climb any mountain before clouds form, blocking vistas. And you're spoiled with options in Switzerland. Over 200 mountains rise beyond 3,000 meters, with 24 above 4,000 meters. 4. They're prepared for a nuclear war. Every Swiss citizen must have access to a nuclear fallout bunker, according to legislation enacted during the Cold War frenzy of the 1960s. 
According to recent figures, there are enough bunkers in apartment complexes, hospitals, institutions, and public shelters to cover everyone plus some. Once a month, tours of Switzerland's largest shelter, the Sonnenberg Bunker in Lucerne, are available for those who are interested. This gigantic project, completed in 1976 during the Cold War, was estimated to have cost 40 million Swiss francs. Even when it comes to rescuing its peaceful population from nuclear devastation, Switzerland spares no price. 3. It's where the God Particle was discovered. At the very least, its existence was established. The hypothesis of the so-called Higgs boson, a mystical particle claimed to be responsible for giving other particles their mass, was developed in the 1960s by a group of scientists, notably British scientist Peter Higgs. To put it another way, the fundamental elements of our cosmos. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, verified the existence of the Higgs boson, or God particle, in 2012, and the world's greatest science experiment has been unraveling some of the universe's biggest secrets ever since. Free tours of CERN's spectacular facilities and museum are available. Oh, and its Large Hadron Collider, which shoots proton beams at each other in a loop 100 meters underground, is colder than space. What a fantastic idea! 2. Its wine is its best-kept secret. Because just around 1% of Swiss wine is exported, the best and only way to enjoy a glass is on Swiss territory. Switzerland boasts 240 grape varietals, with Pinot Noir, Chasselas, Gamay, and Merlot being the most common. Chasselas, or Fendant in German-speaking areas of the region, is an indigenous white grape with roots in 12th-century monks and their terraced vineyards in Lavaux, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Valais in the Alps, Vaud on Lake Geneva, Swiss-German, Geneva, Ticino on the Italian border, and the three lakes of the Jura mountain range are the six main places where Swiss wine may be found. Pair a crisp glass of buttery chasselas with regional cheeses, or, even better, a fondue to truly live the Swiss experience. 1. It's where John Calvin gave us watchmaking. The Protestant Reformation, led by John Calvin in Geneva, was growing in Switzerland in 1541. He made it illegal to wear flashy jewelry, which caused a panic among the city's numerous jewelers. They devised a brilliant plan to create gorgeous timepieces as a way around the ban, as wearing a useful, time-telling object was permissible. Swiss watches are renowned around the world for their remarkable attention to detail, functionality, and design. So, that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on our video? Please let us know in comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification to our channel before you go. Thank you so much for watching.